Saying goodbye to a friend is never easy, and today here at Nine we've had to farewell one of our dearest. Much-loved Larrikin reporter Doug Murray passed away this morning, but he will be forever remembered as a gentleman, both on and off the screen. Doug Murray was the storyteller's storyteller, a champagne reporter, his yarns full of pop and fizz. Come fly with me. Dougie covered all the angles. Tanya, this puts a whole new angle on the subject. Fearless in his exposés. In the interests of reporter involvement and the desperate quest for extra ratings, here goes. A news hound who always sought the truth. You don't think I need an extra gusset? No. Throughout a long and award-winning journalistic career, Doug Murray wore many hats. Rick, what do you reckon? I love him and I'm going to miss him. In the 80s, he was a weather presenter with the ABC. I recall when the ratings for news on a Friday night were terrible, so I'd put Doug on to do the weather, provided he would give a racing tip. And unfortunately, unfortunately, whatever way you look at it, but for three weeks in a row he tipped winners and the ratings went up like that. And the original presenter of the ABC's rural affairs flagship, Landline. He was a genuine, one-off, special individual. Then Dougie threw the switch to Vaudeville for 17 years, entertaining the audience of Nine's extra local affairs show. Dougie loved Queensland's eccentric characters and everyone loved his. In his stories, Dougie could seem larger than life, but he never thought he was bigger than the story. A giant step for mankind. Only size is not everything always the character he is the most beautiful man and um, there are going to be thousands of people missing him today sadly dougie's own story has finished all too soon we can only imagine his final farewell would go something like this Beautiful memories there. He yeah, was a unique storyteller. Queensland journalism has lost one of its most engaging storytellers. Doug Murray died at his home in Brisbane after a long illness. He was 63. Pete Lewis looks back on a colourful career. Thanks for joining me. I'm Doug Murray. Like Clancy of the Overflow, Doug Murray had originally gone to Queensland droving before taking up a traineeship with the ABC Rural Department in 1973. There's no other person like him I've seen treat the camera like he did and the audience respond to him. They just loved him. He was very special and a genuine one-off. Look at the chart at the moment. The now, I'll tell you a little story. Years ago when I was running the newsroom for a minute, I decided to put him on the weather on a Friday night and he had, with one proviso he had to give a race tip. He tipped a 9 to 1 winner the first night, a 10 to 1 winner the next week and then a 6 to 1 winner and he became so popular there was an immediate spike in the ratings for Friday night. Emerald folk are no different from people elsewhere. With their Beneath his trademark pork pie hat and behind that pencil thin moustache lay a sharp mind, a love of the bush and a happy knack for storytelling. However here, one important check has been overlooked. And he was a household name by the time he helped launch the ABC's longest running rural current affairs TV program in the early 90s. Hello, I'm Doug Murray, welcoming you to the very first edition of Landline. He returned to help celebrate Landline's 1,000th program six years ago. And in a game that sometimes can be as tough as a $10 stake, Doug Murray yarns invariably always brought a smile to your face.